Hi, my name is Andy Wood. I'm Education Director for Audubon North Carolina, and I'm here to talk about the life cycle of the bluebird. We have three different kinds of bluebirds in North America, the eastern, western, and mountain bluebird. All three of them have very similar life cycles in that they are cavity nesting birds. They prefer to nest in abandoned woodpecker holes or a hollow in a tree snag or in a cavity box like the one behind me, uh, an artificial box. They begin life, chicken or the egg first. It begins with a male and female adult pair bonding typically in February uh, or late February, early March and maybe as late as April. They'll mate after building a nest of grass and pine straw that they put inside that cavity. And then the female, over a period of several days, will lay uh, four to six uh, powder blue eggs inside that nest. Um, the eggs are typical of bird eggs. They have a hard calcium-like shell on the outside with a thin membrane on the inside. And inside that is where the developing a bluebird embryo is and for 12 to 14 days the female incubates those eggs, stays on top of them while the male brings her food or maybe takes over some of the incubation process and then uh, the eggs after that 12 to 14 day period they hatch out into young birds that are naked, they have no feathers and their eyes are closed so they're blind and thoroughly dependent on their parents for food and, and keeping warm. Then for another 17 to 20 days, the, yo the young birds are raised by the parents. After that period of time, the young are ready to leave the nest in a, as a stage we call brancher, where they'll leave the nest, fly to a, a clump of shrubs, where the parents will continue taking care of them for a few days, especially the male, um, while the female starts to build a new nest. And so that way she can produce two broods of young in a year in a typical summer period. And the previous offspring, that they, the first group of offspring, may actually stay with the parents to help them raise the second brood. So it's a very tight-knit family. And then come autumn, uh, they'll fly around in a loose knit of a family unit, migrating to warmer weather to search out insect prey and some fruits um, to supplement their diet. And if all goes well for the bluebird, they'll live a, a productive three to five years. And that's the life cycle of a bluebird.